Uh, for the second time in three months, President Obama will address the nation from the Oval Office. Tonight, he'll mark a major milestone, the end of U.S. combat operations in Iraq. But the decision is not without controversy. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has details. Bill, good morning. Good morning to you, Harry. As the president prepares to talk to the nation about Iraq and Afghanistan, he'll first meet with troops. And he'll also call former President George W. Bush, who put the surge strategy in place. Meanwhile, Vice President Biden is in Iraq meeting with its leaders. The vice president arrived at the residence of Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki early this morning, trying to get Iraq's leaders to form a new government. Today, the president heads to Fort Bliss, Texas, to salute the troops, including those of the 1st Armored Division, who saw some of the heaviest fighting of the war. In his address tonight from the Oval Office, President Obama will say he kept his commitment to end America's combat role in Iraq, and he'll thank those who served. One thing he won't do is make any reference to the idea of mission accomplished. He'll also talk about the way forward in Afghanistan. But almost 50,000 U.S. troops will remain in Iraq, officially to support the Iraqi army and police. But that won't mean the end of American casualties. To imply that there is a sharp demarcation between what they were doing all summer and what they'll start doing in the fall is not realistic. In fact, the only reason we have this number of people is because we value the combat power they bring. Now, the president is spending much of this week on foreign policy, Iraq, and working on Mideast peace. But he knows very well that the major concern of the voters is the economy. And yesterday he did say that he would have some new economic stimulus plans coming up in the near future. Meanwhile, uh, he urged the Senate, in fact, he made a political uh, stab at uh, trying to shame the Republicans into passing his plan to aid small business. Small business right. Harry? Bill Plant at the White House this morning. Thank you very much.